Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to make a pullout couch more comfortable. I'll be going over some easy ways to increase your comfort level of your pullout couch. Let's get right into the video. Method number one is to add a mattress topper to your pullout couch mattress. Now, a mattress topper is rather thin and rather inexpensive, okay? And you might even have one on another bed that you no longer use. Now, with that being said, it's a very, very inexpensive upgrade or free if you already have one that you no longer use. In addition, it's thin enough that your pullout couch will probably still fold up but it's also thick enough that it's going to add some comfort level to your pullout couch mattress because the mattress on your pullout couch is probably decently thin okay that's usually how they come and very very floppy so that they can be folded up a mattress topper in my opinion is a perfect inexpensive solution to increasing the comfort level of a pullout couch method number two is to actually put a whole mattress on the pullout couch mattress okay now the one downside of this is that you can't fold up the pullout couch anymore but if you're going to be sleeping on a pullout couch for a long period of time and you're not going to be folding it up, then it might be worth it to either invest in a mattress because then you might be able to use a mattress with a bed frame in the future or use a mattress that you have lying around somewhere else in the house or even borrow someone's mattress just to put on the pullout couch because it really will increase the comfort level. It'll almost feel as if you're sleeping on a regular bed because the mattress is really what creates the comfort um, with regards to sleeping on a regular bed. Okay. Number three is to actually get a new pullout couch thin mattress. This is the mattress on my pullout couch in my family room. And over the years, it sort of wears down. Even if you're only using it as an actual couch, because even when you sit on the couch cushions, you're compressing that mattress. So it does wear down and they're rather inexpensive. So it's, if you're going to be sleeping on a pullout couch for a while and you're going to be folding it up and sort of pulling it out and folding it up constantly, then it might be worth it for you to invest in a whole new pullout couch mattress method number four is to put a duvet or comforter on the pull-out couch mattress so what you're going to do is get a duvet or comforter that you would regularly use on a bed put it as the base on top of the mattress it'll add a layer of cushioning similar to a mattress topper now a mattress topper will probably work a little bit better because it's meant to be slept on okay whereas a duvet or comforter is meant to be slept under but a duvet or comforter will still work it will still allow it to be a bit more comfortable okay but it will feel really spongy so you know just a heads up Number five is to use double pillows if it slopes back. Now on this right here, and this couch is only, at the time of me filming this, about five years old, four and a half, five years old. But with this couch right here, when I have slept on the pullout couch, the odd time that I've slept on it, um, it sort of slopes back that way. So what I do is I use double pillows under my neck to sort of keep me level and make it feel like I'm at the right level of 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 incline I guess because when it slopes backwards it sort of feels weird when you're sleeping in that position so use double pillows to you know make yourself feel more comfortable at the right angle okay lastly is number six which is to try and find the best the best sleeping position on the mattress and with regards to your actual body position okay now these mattresses are going to have some springs that you can feel okay there might be some places that are more springy than others so you want to find the place on the pull uh, the place on the pull out couch mattress that is the least springiest where you don't feel the springs and then whether it's sleeping on your back on your side or on your other side you want to find the position as well that is the easiest for being comfortable okay that's my last tip that's basically it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching